Many creative people draw inspiration from their own lives. One Valley painter includes herself and her love of animals into her work. ABC 15 photojournalist Brian McHugh with local artist Elizabeth Checky, finding out where her surrealistic images come from. I don't just consider myself an artist, I consider myself an artist and animal activist. I love animals. I mean, ever since I was a little girl, even before I could speak, I would write on the walls of our home. I mean, that was my form of expression, and we always had animals in our home. So those two elements have always been important in my life. There's a lot in the world that's really important to me, and I do, I try to convey it in my work my love of the environment and animals. I try to infuse images of animals in my paintings because they're important to me. I never seem to have to look for ideas and I never have to look for inspiration. There's so much visual information. Sometimes I almost have to close my eyes. The message within the painting to me is as important as the aesthetic qualities of the painting. Sometimes in my work, I'll, I'll have little banners or scrolls and I'll put I'll writing on them. And for me, it's a form of journaling. I would definitely uh, describe myself as a symbolist. I think symbolism is really important to me. My work having sort of a narrative quality, I feel that I'm telling stories to people. One of the hardest things for me to express to people is my palette. For me, why I choose the colors that I do, it, it's purely emotional. I really like using earth tones to express the qualities of surrealism in my work. I think because they're much more subtle. Animals are very important. I use them as symbols of expression, of beauty and goodness and I do put myself in my work because these paintings are about me. They're about where I've been and where I'm going and things that I've been through. I pretty much just paint for myself. I can't worry if people like my work. I paint and do this because it's so much fun. If you're interested in learning more about Elizabeth's work, you can use the information on your screen or just log on to our website at abc15.com.